Hey y'all, EJ here. So we're just gonna get right into it. So when I'm looking for some templates when I can't or when I don't have time to design anything, I go to Google and I just type in what I want. So this time I typed in free PSD flyers for free. I put the free on there to make sure that flyer templates that are free pop up. Sometimes I do pay, sometimes I don't. This time I didn't because I wanted to show you guys this one. So this particular website is one that I do use most often when I don't have time to design a flyer. So I just scroll through and see what design matches best to whatever I'm looking for. And for this one, I like the cool tones in this one. And then at the end, at the bottom, as you've seen, there's a free download. It actually takes you to the page where you can actually download it. And a lot of times it will have this P, this PSC is locked. You can either like it on Twitter, on Google Plus, or on Facebook. It will unlock it, you can press download, and then you download it. I have never gotten a virus from this particular website, which is PSD Flyers Free, or something like that. I'll put it in the description box below. But I tr trust them, but of course, use everything at your own risk um, and then every flyer template at least on this website gives you the links to the fonts that are used so I always um, download them sometimes uh, I will download more than one flyer that catches my eye and I'll just go ahead and download all of the fonts because I don't know to me when you design things you can never have too many fonts and then these uh, social icon fonts are always good to have so I always try to download those I actually have a couple different types of social fonts and then what I did I just closed all those tabs because I am just a person that I don't like that many tabs open and then um, when you download the fonts and the flyers they come in zip files I just um, you know clicked it to open it and when you open up the flyer in Photoshop it will have a pop-up like you just seen about the fonts not being able to be resolved and that's because I forgot to download the font so make sure you click don't resolve and then go back and install the fonts that you installed or you were going to install so you just click on the zip file it'll open and you need to download the tiff the tff or the otf files um i believe this one yes this one has otf files so otf or tff are usually font files so just download all of those um you can download more than one again i'm on a mac and so this is how you do it on the mac i'm assuming you do it similarly on the windows computer but yeah you just click and install and it, on a mac it installs in your font book and then um, uh, you'll see what happens next. So at this point, all of the fonts are installed. And so I do not have to close the document and I'm actually not going to. You'll see what I'm going to do in a second. I clicked the, oh, actually first, some of the flyers have different options of the design. So what you see me doing, I'm seeing which groups operate or control which sections of the flyer. And then right here is where you can change the color. Sometimes the flyer has these, sometimes they don't. So as you can see, excuse me, there are different, um, you know color hues that are available for this specific one and I just go through all of them to see which one that I liked and I think I picked the first one which it has that blue um, tint to it the other thing I will do I'll go through and just click on random things again to just see what controls what and things like that so I can edit things a little bit quicker All right, so now we're at the text part. This one, this part is really important to, to know which sections control what. Um, so before, when we had opened the file and we pressed um, don't resolve, it didn't resolve. So as you saw, there was another pop-up that when I clicked the club, it was saying that this font will be replaced. In reality, it won't because we went ahead and installed the fonts. If we would not have installed the fonts, it would have been replaced by whatever Photoshop thought was closest to that font but since we went ahead and installed it it won't but you'll see as I go through each text section that pop-up of saying um, this font family cannot be found this text will be replaced or something to that effect um, it will say that every single time but as long as you download the fonts ahead of time it will be totally fine um, and then yeah every part of the flyers can be edited so you've seen that I just scaled up the size of 
that font that I don't know what it was previously, but now it's EBE Films LLC Presents. Everything is editable. Um, even the background, I can edit if I wanted to. I didn't want to with this specific one. There's the pop up again about the the font family, but um, that's what I like about these. It it gives you a template, yes, that looks professional, yes, but you can also change it. So. When I am in a rush, when I don't have a lot of time, um, or when I'm really, 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 really tired, um, I use templates. So I am going to speed up the rest of this. You're just going to see me finishing up the editing of this flyer for one of the films on the summer short film series. And I'm actually going to add a photo of the act, the main actor. So you'll get to see all of that. So I hope you enjoy. is pretty much it I'm just saving it at this point so thank you so much for watching I hope this helps somebody because I know how it is when you're trying to work on a budget so make sure you like and subscribe and I will meet you guys here next week Bye.